Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well, it's quite difficult to believe, but today we're going to make the very last doll from my Zodiac doll collection. I know, my poor Capricorn people, you had to wait for such a long time, for a whole year actually. But today it's finally your day, today it's your special video, sending lots of love to all my Capricorn people out there. Because today we're finally going to make a Capricorn doll. Well, first of all, what it is exactly? A Capricorn. On the internet they describe it as a goldfish, I mean the symbol of the sign. And they draw a Capricorn quite often or as a girl with gold horns and with a mermaid tail. Or they give it sometimes just a gold hat and a fish tail. Both options are possible. So, and since this is such a special creature, a goat fish, I have decided to use this very special Monster High doll as a model for this transformation. I know this video is going to be called probably something like a dark siren, but this doll is not exactly a siren. It's not a combination of a girl with a fish, it's a combination of a girl plus an octopus. I bet there is a special word in English for this kind of a combination, but I don't know this word. If, if you know it, please write it down in the comments under this video. But I think anyway that this doll has all chances to become an absolutely beautiful dark sea creature. I have of course quite a lot of work to do today, so I should probably stop talking and start working. And I'm going to start like always with undressing this doll, removing the accessories, and then I'm going to cut her hair very very short. And while I'm working, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not with us yet. And of course hit the bell button, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Yes, and I will start working. <laughs> I use like always hot air of my hair dryer to make the head soft and to melt the glue inside of the head because after doing this for two minutes it will be extremely easy to disconnect the head from the body and to remove the rest of the short hair that is still sitting inside of the head. And after this step I take pure acetone, don't forget it's still toxic and dangerous, and I remove this doll's original makeup. So now the canvas is completely prepared and I can start the transformation. And as a first step I am going to make a pair of horns using this super sticky Warbla Cobra cast thermoplastic. I am warming it up with my hair dryer, attaching it to the head and then I am shaping the horns. This thermoplastic is extremely sticky and after it cools down it gets very hard again, you will not be able to disconnect it from the rubber head.
So after this I covered the horns and the hat with a couple of layers of back acrylics and then we will move to the hair part of the makeover. I'm going to combine these two hair colors in her look, this very pretty deep green I will place on the top of the hat and then the bottom layers I will make black. So it means I will have a lot of work in the next 4, 5, maybe 6 hours. And after this job is finished, I add tacky glue inside of the hat and I let it dry for 24 hours. Now you see I've already protected the hair and now we're going to cover the face and the body with a couple of layers of acrylics. And I've got here actually into trouble guys, because I'm almost out of white paint. You can see here it's just a little bit, a little bit on the bottom. Maybe it would be still enough to repaint this one doll. But I went anyway online already to buy an exactly the same bottle of white paint and there I've seen a whole bunch of acrylic paint for airbrush with all kinds of special effects. Oh my god, they were so pretty, all kinds of duochrome color shifting, iridescent colors, really extremely pretty, so I had to buy all of them. Yes, this was the case when I went online to buy a bottle of paint for 20 euro and I've ended up buying 25 new colors and paying 200 euro. But anyway, I just could see it immediately how good, how gorgeous my new doll, my dark siren would look covered with this color shifting kinds of paint, really. It will be absolutely amazing. And when everything was already done, when I completed my order, then I finally seen a disclaimer on the main page saying that the shop was actually on holidays because I was ordering it probably on like the 30th of December or maybe even on the 31st. So the disclaimer said that they were going to ship all the orders starting from the 6th of January. So I have absolutely nothing else to do but to sit here and to wait for a week starting new projects. Yes, this is exactly why I've decided to cancel, to skip the video. It was the first Friday of January, but it was January the 3rd, because yes, I was kind of waiting for art supplies and since I had to wait, I had to start some new projects. So, sitting, waiting. So, here is finally my order, everything was delivered on time. So, here is the white paint, <laughs> this is where it's all started. And then I've ordered also a set of bottles for mixing paint. And what is this? Ah, well, it's a free pencil, it seems. It's oil-based, I cannot really use it on dolls. But thank you so much anyway. And here are finally the acrylics. You see I've ordered some natural shades to mix paint for different skin tones. 
You see I have a variety of them here to make all kinds of dolls And here are finally the gorgeous special effect ones All of them are kind of pearly and have different color shift You can see it kind of on the bottom So let's start working, finally I can paint this doll and I start actually with the basics and I'm going to paint her face and the upper body with a regular light nude paint but first of all I need to sand the body of course to remove this glossy top from the surface and like this the paint will go better on. So here I have already finished the top part of the body and now I'm going to protect it and then we will paint the bottom part of the body. And here I'm going to create some sort of a gradient going from lighter green to almost black or completely black. So this is how it looks now and before I will add all kinds of shimmers and gold and all these new special effects ones I want to do the drawing part of the repaint first because this sealum, the Mr. Super Clear one it would simply make all these new iridescent shimmers completely matte so now I will spray it with a couple of layers of the sealant and then we will draw the face and blush the body First of all I'm going to sketch her face and then we will add shadows using soft pastels. Today I'm going to do something special for her eye makeup. I'm going to give her very deep and at the same time very bright green smoky eyes. I think it will look magical on her. And this doll has a very pretty face mold, by the way. I've never worked with it before and I really love it now.
And when the face is finished, I also blush her body using the same soft pastels. Okay, now I think I can finally take a golden paint and add all kinds of details to the body. And now it's time for my new pretty iridescent colors. I don't even know which ones to choose. I don't know, I'll probably take this green and the blue one, maybe also the red. I don't know, <laughs> they're all so pretty, I'm going to use all of them probably. And then on top of it, I'm going to apply a little bit of this stunning gold. And then I also want to add a touch of it to the sides of the face as well. And I also add a touch of the special paint to her eyelids and to her lips. So now let's probably finish up the horns using all kinds of golden paint and after this we will style her hair. I don't want to give her too big hair today because first of all I want the horns stay visible and not lost somewhere between, I don't know, some wild curls. And then I also think that the bottom of her body is already curly enough. So her hair I'm going to make quite sleek. And I start with making two braids. Then I connect the braids on the back of the head and I cover the place of the connection with the rest of the hair.
And now let's attach the false lashes, add glossy acrylic varnish to Horizon lips, and then we will work on her outfit and the accessories. Instead of making a regular top, I've decided to make two starfishes and I'm going to use a warbler thermoplastic for it. It's good, by the way, I have the second doll like this, because her boobs are quite bigger than from a regular Monster High doll, look, I will, I will show you to compare. So it would be quite problematic to make this top, these starfishes without a model. So here are the stars, I can attach them to the body using this double side tape and then I will cover them with red acrylics. I want to add some extra color to the final look of my doll because right now she looks a little bit too much green and black and gold to me so I would love to add here some pop of color. And now I also want to make long nails using a glue gun. Now it's finally time to decorate the head and the hips using this bunch of different chains and I think it will look very pretty on this doll.
So, and here is my Capricorn doll. I think she looks absolutely gorgeous. This is a very good final doll for my Zodiac doll collection. It's been a very long project. I was busy with it exactly for one year. And now I'm really happy I was able to complete it and I even done it quite on time. So, I'm open for ideas for a new collection, who else should we make, I don't know. If you have any good thoughts, please write them down in the comments, I'm sure I will find a lot of inspiration in them. And now let me wish a little bit belated happy birthday to my Capricorn people here. I'm sorry guys, you had to wait so long, but anyway, I hope you had a fantastic month and fantastic birthday and I also hope that you enjoyed this doll today please let me know in the comments if this doll is Capricorn improved well this doll will be available for sale on eBay like always for three days the link you will find in the description box under this video and now it's finally time to look at all my zodiac dolls together please guys write me in the comments which one was your favorite so, and that was my doll transformation of the week, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you already very soon, next week Friday, in my new dolly paint video. Love you guys. Bye.